Hey everyone, Nathaniel RoboJance here, and before we get into today's video, I want to remind you to enter our paper, Mario the Origami King giveaway. All you have to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. If you do that every single video in the month of July, you gain an additional entry. Winner will be announced at the end of the month, and I wish all of you luck. Now, speaking of Nintendo games, have a bit of a bummer for you guys. This came out of the 80th uh, investor annual meeting of investors for Nintendo uh, and it sounds like well Nintendo games are delayed and we're not just talking about 2021 where it was previously talked about how oh all the games scheduled for this year are still coming 2021 is when we first need to worry about delays it actually sounds like games are delayed right now for 2020 and this might be a large reason why we haven't heard anything from Nintendo after Paper Mario because they might not have anything for us the rest of this year. Let's get into the exact quotes. Now, I have all of this found on nintendolife.com. Um, it says Nintendo provides another update about its development schedule uh, and how it might be impacted. Um, so we already talked about how, you know, the salaries and all that jazz. We talked about that a few days ago, but this is new. Uh, in addition to all the salary information, it is revealed how its production, shipping, and product supply and development is coping during the pandemic. In terms of production and shipping, product supply may be impacted if issues involving the procurement of necessary components persist. So this has to do with actual switch supply and that there might be future switch supply issues where they actually previously said that they were back up to full production. That might not be the case anymore. However, in terms of sales, sales channels may be restricted by measures to prevent the spread of the virus, including restrictions on movement outside the home and closure of retail stores. So even harder times getting product to people, even if product exists. Development schedules may be impacted due to the difference in development environment between working from home and in the office, since teleworking is implemented at the company and its partners. As a result, we may not be able to proceed with the release of Nintendo products and the start of services as planned. Nintendo will continue to conduct business operations by taking necessary measures so that it can continue to provide an environment in which consumers can enjoy its products and services while giving due consideration to the health and safety of its consumers and employees. And this is what um, was said before by Shinya Takahashi, the managing executive officer. This is where uh, we thought that things were going to be okay this year. It says, while product development is a little behind schedule in some areas due to the impact of COVID-19, game releases planned for this fiscal year are currently not affected. This was stated earlier. This was said um, that this would you know, not be an issue. This was said about a month ago, actually, that they would not have an issue. Um, but it sounds like um, that this doesn't matter anymore. Um, because we may not be able to proceed with the release of the Nintendo products at the start of services as planned. Yikes. And it's a pretty big yikes indeed, because you have to sit back and wonder, how was Nintendo coping with all this? Now, I talked about quite recently that it's okay to feel entitled as Nintendo fans right now, because we don't know what's coming. We should know what's coming. We deserve to know what's coming, even with the pandemic, maybe because of the pandemic. And it feels weird because EA has announced games, Activision has announced games, Sony's announced games, Microsoft has announced games, Square Enix, Atlas, everyone's announcing games. So while the pandemic's happening, we're still getting game announcements and new games coming this year. But for some reason, Nintendo is not coping well with this. And actually, it doesn't sound like we might be getting any more games from Nintendo this year. In fact, it's sounding extremely doubtful. There's even a big holiday title coming from Nintendo. Now, I don't want to go that far. We still are months and months away, and there might be a rabbit Nintendo's waiting to pull out of their hat for at least one big holiday game. So I'm not going to give up hope for any Nintendo games this year, but it definitely sounds like Nintendo is seriously in doubt that any of their games are going to land on time all of their games seem like they've been currently delayed, and this is why we haven't seen a Nintendo Direct or anything featuring Nintendo stuff, because Nintendo doesn't know when their products are actually going to be ready, and everything might be pushed into 2021 if we're lucky, if not pushed out of 2021. Um, so Nintendo's not handling this well, and I don't know that this should be as surprising. I mean, it is, because we should expect better from Nintendo, but remember when Nintendo transitioned into HD with the Wii U and they seemed to learn zero lessons from when everybody seemingly a decade earlier 
already went into HD. Um, and Nintendo didn't learn any of the lessons those other companies learned. Like, smaller development teams don't work as well developing in HD. Uh, you need bigger development teams. Nintendo didn't know that. It took a lot longer to make games. That led to a lot of uh, droughts on the Wii U in terms of first-party games. Uh, so you, Nintendo was behind then. And now, with a pandemic here... Nintendo doesn't seem to be handling the pandemic as well as other companies either. We're still getting Pokemon DLC. We're still going to get new Smash characters and stuff like that. But we're not getting the new, fresh Nintendo games. Like, we got Animal Crossing because, for all intents and purposes, that was done last year. Uh, we got Paper Mario because that was probably done at the beginning of this year. We might not have any other finished products coming out this year. And you know Nintendo's motto. We know Shigeru Miyamoto put it out there a long time ago. A delayed game is eventually good, Right? A rushed game is bad forever. Now, that's not always true. Sea of Thieves was kind of rushed out the door, and now it's actually a good game. But that, that quote was said before game updates and all that existed. It was basically whatever you released was the final product. Um, so that's not true anymore. But for Nintendo, they still kind of live by that mantra where they'd rather delay everything and release a quality product than rush things out the door and have it be broken and try to patch it later. Nintendo doesn't actually believe in doing what Sea of Thieves did, even though Sea of Thieves was going to always be a game with additional content, they don't like doing that kind of strategy. They don't view their games as a service kind of thing where they need to keep you playing and keep you playing. I mean, they do it with Splatoon, granted, but um, even Smash Bros. a little bit, but it's not something that Nintendo does with the majority of their games. They don't view the Marios and the Zeldas of the world as fitting into that sort of of content delivery or update progression system even though there's always little performance patches here and there especially with breath of the wild on the switch more so than mario odyssey on the switch that being said um i honestly uh i'm a little worried as a nintendo fan that we're not going to get anything from nintendo this year beyond they are publishing uh bravely default 2 but beyond that even though it's square enix makes that game doesn't feel too nintendo-ish to me i feel like we're just not going to see much from the big end in 2020. I think this is kind of like that nail in the coffin where um, a lot of what this channel and what I'm going to have to talk about for the rest of this year is going to have to be Xbox and PlayStation stuff with the occasional Nintendo because um, outside of coming up with some original content ideas and, and some video game streams uh, and talking about uh, you know a few topics that are worthy of discussing, kind of creating you know, debate or discussion videos, there's not going to be a lot of news for the big end. At least not big Nintendo news. You're still going to see third-party announcements. We're still going to see NBA 2K come and all this stuff. But I, we're just not going to see the big year that we were hoping from Nintendo in terms of game releases. And it sucks that Nintendo is responding so poorly to the pandemic, seemingly in comparison to all the other companies out there, when two other companies in particular are launching brand new systems this year and they're handling it better than Nintendo has. Uh, so, yeah. And on top of that, this system right here, this platform right here, um, it sounds like they talked about certain parts that might be lacking in supply. That sounds like the Switch might not be coming back into full stock. That sounds like Nintendo is going to be struggling making Nintendo Switches the rest of the year. It sounds like from this point forward, uh, the Switch is going to struggle. Because Nintendo isn't going to be able to make enough of these to meet supply. Plus, they're having a hard time getting the supply to consumers because certain retail stores are shutting down in some areas. Uh, and on top of all of that, they're not be able to get their game production out. It kind of sounds like the rest of 2020 is like a wash. Like, Nintendo wants to pretend, like, from July on, like, basically from the moment Paper Mario came out and on, doesn't exist. Come back in 2021. Like, Nintendo is uh, struggling. And I'm. it's hard to see... One of my favorite companies in this industry, obviously my preferred gaming platform, struggle this way. I love the Nintendo Switch, but um, I'm thankful I have one now because uh, a lot of you might not be able to get one for a while. Like the whole Switch coming back in stock, Nintendo promised it would come back in stock. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple really big shipments for Switch coming up here, but it sounds like they're already struggling to, to, to make it again. So I, I'm worried. To say I'm worried about Nintendo, I don't know. Is this going to be the nail in the coffin? Is the Switch going to be dead? Is it not going to survive this? And this is how this, the, mat, the great story of Switch ends? I don't think so. But I think the comeback story based on this is going to start with something we haven't talked in a long time. That's the Switch Pro. I think the comeback story of comeback stories for Nintendo is going to have to be a Switch Pro launching in 2021. If not the next-gen Switch, but definitely a Switch Pro. Uh, because 
with the Switch not having any major big Nintendo games, maybe one for the holidays and that's it the rest of this year, with them struggling to, to meet supply and demand and even get the supply they do have to consumers, it sounds to me like Xbox and, and, and PlayStation 5 are going to be dominating the news cycle and dominating the holidays this year. And then... Nintendo, to get Mindshare back, is going to have to have some sort of hardware-like announcement next year, uh, hopefully early in the year, um, assuming they can get production wrapped up enough, you know, once it seems like we're clear of COVID or we have, um, you know, something sort of a treatment plan in place for it or if we have a vaccine on the horizon um, to get, you know, a new product line out next year and then hit it with all the games that have been delayed, the Breath of the Wild 2s of the world, uh, when it be Odyssey 2, whatever they have working on Mario Kart, I don't know. It, I, I, you would hope that Nintendo would have had a backup plan for this where they could just give us the rest of the Wii U ports, you know, at least give us the 3D worlds, Mario 3D World, Pikmin 3, etc. Uh, but even that seems a little far fetched right now. I feel like Nintendo's just going to skate and float the rest of this year and pray they're still relevant in 2021. They, of course, are still going to be relevant. They are Nintendo, but it's just. There's going to be a lot of headlines taken by everybody else during all this, and it'll be interesting to see how Nintendo responds next year. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Robert Jones from the Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I wish the news wasn't so somber, um, but it doesn't sound good. And uh, all we got to do at this point is hope for the best. Hope that Nintendo Direct rumor is true. Hope that Nintendo's at least going to announce games, even if they're not going to come this year. Um, yeah, that's all I guess we can hope for at this point. I am Nathaniel Robert Jones from the Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video. Thank you.